Welcome back to possibly the most boring video we've done on this channel all year. As yes, today we are looking at a new noise suppressor from Boss. And it is going to be mine and Ben's challenge to not make this video boring. <laughs> <laughs> what we can promise you is we'll try and keep it short. Um, the NS2 noise suppressor uh, has been in the Boss catalogue for something like 20 years now. Uh, and is an old fashioned, almost works like Dolby used to on an old cassette yeah. player, if you remember having those. It just eliminates hiss and sort of chokes the signal out to remove the noise. Um, it has though become <clears throat> pretty much the go-to music industry noise suppressor yeah. for guitar players, haven't they? Anyway, 2023, we now have the NS1X. This is a new and improved noise suppressor from the wonderful people at Boss. It's quite expensive. It doesn't leave you much change out of about 200 quid, so it better be good. Um, and it's using Boss's new uh, multi-dimensional processing technology, MDP. Um, we're going to set this up in three ways. First is how you currently use the NS2 in your rig, right? Yep, so it's I'm just running mine, again, at the end of my sort of pedal signal chain. So usually just an overdrive, then at the end of it, noise suppressor into the front end of the amplifier. We're going into the Soldano just behind us here um, for this demo. Um, so de more. demo one, number one is to get lots of background noise from the amplifier, lots of background noise from a distortion pedal. Uh, we'll probably show you how much, you know, what it's like on single coil pickup. So we've intentionally chosen a guitar that's got no kind of active circuitry or noise suppression in it or anything like that. Um, so we're going to try that. Then we're going to try the same thing with the NS1X versus the NS2 through the effects loop of the Soldano. And then we're going to try my pedal board um, and we're going to try putting the NS2 in the pedal board to sort of see how it works more for like, um, I guess I'm going to be the sort of the token blues player in this video. Ben is going to be the, to the sort of token metal guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's start first and foremost, get me that classic genty choked off noise suppressor, sa suppressor sound with the NS2 cool. and let's see how the NS1 compares. Lovely. So, tube screamer on? Yeah, tube screamer on. Again, using it just going to add a bit more into the preamp there and again, it's usually tighten up the signal but obviously it's going to give you more noise. Super tight threshold on it. So you've got threshold maxed and decay minimum. So you want it coming in yeah. as fast as possible, as heavy as possible. Yeah, and the, the beauty suppression. with this, obviously using a tremolo guitar, so you're going to get a lot of spring noise and stuff as well. So it should. It's effective. Yeah. Uh, how would that so? So, so without. It's amazing how annoying that uh, the trem springs are. Presumably, yeah. if you're using a, a hardtail guitar, you're still going to get some resonance from the strings. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And, and you, you can do stuff like put fret wraps on it. But I mean, the guys that come to mind initially, like the guys in periphery, yeah, or like watch various videos and guys like Misha and Mark saying they've got various noise gates in their sim. Because again, when you're playing that kind of music. It's got to be. Well, let, let's just match the settings up on this similarly, uh, and then we'll just see if there's any real, like, are you, are you sensing that the NS1 is doing a better job than the NS2? <laughs> NS1X. It's tighter. It is tighter, isn't I it? I think it's but the... Is it choking? It feels like we've lost some level or something. Though. Wow, it's a lot more staccato, yeah. that kind of... There's still like, with the NS2, there's the tiniest bit of overtones from yeah. the guitar ringing out, and you can hear that on the tail end, but I think it's the, the damp feature that is... You're think, able to get it a little bit tighter. I think in fairness to the NS2 though, I still think the basic guitar tone sounds a bit fatter with the mm. NS2. You're losing a little bit of that I think, top end sparkle I think to that's it. Just a, 
Let's just try taking the threshold. <laughs> I don't know, pretty similar actually yeah. in terms of that response. So that, I guess, that was probably where I thought the NS1 would be the least different. So if you just want the maximum setting, if you like, on a noise suppressor, I think the NS2 is still doing a pretty good job. Yeah. The interesting bit was now going to be if you begin to add some dynamics into your playing. Mm. So the next test that we kind of wanted to do was to sort of go to a single coil pickup, try and get some clean tones by rolling the volume down yeah. and then seeing whether or not the noise suppressor just chokes all the life out of it. If we go back to the NS2. Add some reverb onto uh, it. Yeah, put a bit of reverb back on. Um, if we go back to the NS2, wow. but leave it on this like maxed out uh, position, I think that's where you'll notice that it's largely ineffective. So right, at this level, NS2 can't tell the difference between an actual guitar note and background noise. So we've got to take the threshold down until it can tell the difference. When, uh, the one thing I've found, because I've used an NS2 for years, if you are doing stuff like that, or even if you're just stacking it on a clean, it adds a real, there's a real like compression that you do get that kind right. of slight thump to the sound. It's not as dynamic. It, but. Here's what I hate about all noise gates. If you play and let the note die, I hate that sort of, whoosh, whoosh, yeah. sort of sound. tremolo <laughs> when it's and it'll eventually work out that actually it's all it's just so unnatural and unpleasant sounding so i was kind of hoping if if i'm going to be the guy that buys a noise suppressor i need the ns1x to not do that so let's just see That's much better. You can better. still hear that the character, the note is still ringing out through there. Yeah, it's not, it's not doing that. It's a little bit. Is it still too? It's a little bit sort of too gated. Too high end. Too. And if we turn it off, turn the guitar up the smidgen, and just play something nice and ambient. So you can see visually on here what's mm. happening on the NS2 is it's either on or it's off. Yeah. So there's no, there's no sense that whilst you're playing a note, all the noise in the background is still there. And then when the pedal thinks you're not playing a note anymore, it cuts it off so that the, the noise isn't there. I think the NS1X is able to do some noise reduction whilst the notes are still there. So there is a sense that it's... it's that tail end that I've noticed on the NS2, you can hear it very quickly. Mm. It starts to get quite latchy onto it, whereas actually the NS1X has got that capability to actually just decipher what's actually yeah. the note and let it ring out a bit more. Yeah, just play some, again, that... It's hard, isn't it? You've got... you've. It's the end, it's, when it's on, it's fine. When it's off, it's fine. It's the when it's not sure, am I supposed to be on or off sort of yeah. thing that you get that really, I'm not sure that necessarily the One X has, has, I think it's better than the two, but it's still. It's 
so it's got a gate mode as well yeah. rather than reduction mode. Is that any better? No, no, that's almost worse, isn't it? Yeah. Because that again, it it's like just a... literally a hard. So we'll leave it in its reduction mode. Um, okay, let's just move over now to putting the pedal through the effects loop. See if that makes uh, any difference yeah. as well. Right, same demo now, but we've got the noise suppression through the effects loop of the amplifier. So again, we've got high gain from the amp, extra gain from the uh, Halcyon Green, and so if you play and will not have any noise suppression. That. So it's not yeah. it's not as tight, is it? But what we found out on the NS1X is what the NS2 seems to be really simple to set up. You just put the threshold on maximum and it does a job. Yeah. The NS1X I think has got more suppression. So if the threshold is all the way up, it's almost sucking even more out. So that it feels like on the NS1X, the sort of equivalent to having the NS2 all the way up is to have the, the NS1X around about one o'clock. If we go all the way up, uh, it chokes. It's, yeah, it's, it's like almost a like a mad season, level. Yeah. I can't understand under what circumstances you'd need that. So you need to dial it back a bit. I think there's less noise now with that, but is it mm. is it unpleasant to play? Does it feel because you? I, yeah, I do it's... feel like it's there's something like choking the sound. Maybe again, it's just about how it, it feels like that with the extra features that you've got on the NS1X, you're, you're you're adding in a degree of like you've got to find the sweet spot. Yeah. Whereas the NS2, it's just turn it all the way up. That's the spot. Uh, no, that's the thing with the NS2. It's like the, the way we've got it set right now mm. is that's going to do like what I'm doing now, that really choked out sound. But if you do something where you roll it off or mm. you're even like if, if I'm then having that on my gain channel and I switch to the clean, I have to turn the noise suppressor off yeah. because even on a clean channel, you get this amount of like boominess in the compression of it and it just doesn't sound well, as pleasant. Let's see how it works with the thing dialed back. I'm going to yeah. put the reverb back on, bring it in very slightly on the volume. I don't think you almost need you almost need two different settings, don't you, on your noise suppressor? Yeah, this is it. It's like or two noise suppressors because that's a little bit more palatable. Like mm. listening to it, how it is there, like the threshold coming off a little bit, less of the damp signal. Whereas I, I suppose that is the beauty of having something like the One X is you actually have the room for movement within that. Mm. Whereas the NS2, you, you don't really you can't fine tune it as much. Yeah. Whereas this, like you say, there is a sweet spot you've got to find on it. Whereas that, there isn't really. Can, a... I, can I just, mm. I, it's, hard, it's so hard to try and explain feel, isn't it? Of yeah. Like, it, what does it feel like to play? So. And switch to the two. both off. Okay, so that, that's the noise reduction yeah. we want, isn't it? And it feels like the threshold needs to be a bit... It's definitely missed. If you've got an NS2 and you move to the NS1, it's 
the threshold needs to be lower on the NS1 to get a comparable. So with no noise suppression at all, this doesn't make a great deal of difference again, does it? You've got to really... For that context... Sorry. For that context there, like again, you, you, we were dialing that in to react how it would mm. be rolled off. So you're going to want it backed off quite a bit so it's not choking out straight away. Whereas when you then bring in the gain, you actually want up the threshold and that it's... It's like you say, it's that... You almost want two to... settings, don't you? But... And then the other one. <laughs> Do you know what you need? MIDI. <laughs> I don't know, I think this has ended up being a better demo for the NS2 than it is the NS1X. Because <laughs> it, it's, I don't doubt that the NS1X has maybe got more under the hood, mm. but it is harder to dial in. And it, and the NS2 is actually doing a good job, yeah. right? Yeah. Right, last part of the demo is we're gonna try and use the noise suppressors now in the context of my pedal board. Uh, and this is where I do stack gain pedals and I do get noise by doing that. And let's see how the noise suppressor works. Okay, so here's my pedal board. What we've done is we've patched in the two uh, noise suppressors, not very neatly as you can see, uh, instead of my chorus pedal. So that will essentially enable either one of the noise suppressors. Um, we didn't mention earlier, by the way, if you're not familiar with either the old NS2 or whatever, it's got a send and return on it and boss say if you, it's a handy way of being able to, you loop your overdrive pedal pedals through the send and return, leave them on all the time, and then essentially when you hit the noise suppressor on, it will activate the effects loop to give you your overdrive pedals, and then when you hit the noise suppressor off, it'll just go straight through, it'll turn the noise suppression off and get rid of your overdrive pedals. So it's just like a handy way of um, not tap dancing. Anyway, on here, all of my pedals are uh, patched into the Gig Rig Quartermaster. I don't have any outrageously noisy pedals. Probably the Kraken is the noisiest. But typically, again, if I might, I might use a Sheriff and a Boost together to get that sort of... I have to be honest with you, I'm intentionally using a single coil. Some of that noise goes away if I go either humbucker or one of the split positions. But I guess that's the worst it could be for a typical sound for me. Does that bother me? Not really, but I guess maybe I'll be even happier without. So let's engage the NS2. That's cool. <laughs> There you go. Now, do you know what? Given that we've got this on maximum, I my recollections of using this was it was much worse. Yeah. So maybe if I just turn this... Oh, it needs to be pretty much all the yeah, way up yeah. to even... to even really work, doesn't it? The idea of the decay, I suppose, I can have it less choky, kind yeah. of like less... <laughs> But I can see from the button there, the reduction's not even... Yeah, so what you could... It's not even coming on unless it's full blast. Back into chaos to give you a bit more... Right, so let's have... try... I do 
you think actually in this instance, my first impression is to slightly prefer the NS1? Um, it's a bit more responsive. Um, what I'm not getting now is that <laughs> yeah sort of which I always I hate yeah I knew that would get a laugh from it. <laughs> let's add some more noise in right so now we need to up it uh, even I think the Okay, so we've got more noise in now. And without, what would that? Oh yeah, oh, man. Okay, I'm more impressed at this stage than I was. Okay, now. Yeah, that's enough. Ah, quick. Now we're getting the benefit of the additional noise suppression yeah. that you get because NS2 turned up max is struggling. Have you got to put it that? Is, yeah. NS1 is handling it yeah. just fine. <laughs> Which I think is kind of what we were saying earlier in the sense of, yeah, the NS2 works great for like the stuff that I'm doing where you yeah. just need a surgically tight, it's not about the dynamics, but this was designed, I think, with something like this in, in mind way more. And let's, that's what's there. Yeah. I mean, admittedly, that is not a combination of pedals that I'm regularly stomping on. But it's good to know that it yeah. can handle it. I mean, that's regular, you know, like just a, yeah. a boosted high gain. And I'm on the humbucker now as yeah. well. So. It is better. Yeah. Uh, okay. How bizarre. So, conclusion has got to be, if you're buying a noise suppression for gent, yeah. then actually doesn't feel like the NS1's doing anything that the NS2 no. doesn't really deliver. In fact, if anything, NS2's sometimes simpler to dial in. I think you just need it to do one job and solidly. Yeah. If you've got a lot of um, noise coming from a pedal board, NS1 seems to be a better solution. There's one last thing that I kind of want to try. We've patched the noise suppression pedals in so that they're before, you know, delays and uh, other pedals after that. So I'm just going to chuck some delay on and see... Well, I just want to make sure it kind of copes okay, doesn't do anything weird, choky with a delay, but... <laughs> Let's just turn the mix of that up a bit and just see. The noise suppression is choking out the signal, but obviously what has gone through has gone to the delay pedal okay. Yeah. So there's no... I'm guessing what you absolutely can't do is have the noise suppressor after the delay. No. Because as it, the repeats get quieter. It is going to, yeah, it will do that. Yeah. 
It just feels more natural, I think, in this, like, in this yes. scenario. Yeah, there we are. Well, maybe it wasn't the most boring demo we've done all year. <laughs> or maybe it was. <laughs> Um, <laughs> That's up for the comment, comment section. Comment below, <laughs> yeah. was this the most boring video of the year so far? Um, right, there we are. Uh, Boss NS1X uh, is out and in stock today from Anderton's. Links will be below if you want to purchase one. Uh, and the good news is the NS2 is not discontinued and is half the price. So if you're thinking that'll do me, go and buy one of those as well, or instead. Right, thank you, Ben. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.